52, Banning Burn East Geelong, 7-7-49. Pye throws the ball in the air. Both Ruckman get a hand on it. Over the top of it again, Bolton. He's dragged it in, then he gets rid of it. Robertson, a little toe poke off the ground towards half forward. Getting back there for Tula. Breaks away, handball, Rock Chamberlain. And quick kick out towards the uh, boundary line and close to the two number nines. Van Ingen, rah! Well, that was a high tackle, but no, the umpire said against Van Ingen. Came from Chamberlain. Maybe he got a rocket at half-time, Cal, I think. Maybe. Boundary throw in. Half forward, east into attack. High throw in. Dickers gets it down to the front. Ricky O'Toole, handball back towards Chamberlain. Ball still in dispute. Comes out the back to Robertson. Got a clearing kick. Inside 50, Sean O'Leary. Coming back, Hickledon off the hand. Primke, as we set up forward, he's going to be first there. Tries to tap it back towards Josh Coy. Can't keep it in, neither can Hickledon. Scrubble act to do the ruck work up against Dickers. Thrown in. Over the back, Scrobelak taps it down, falls in the arms of Primke, quick kick towards the hot spot, Hill goes up, off the back of the pack, O'Hara gets around a couple, little right foot kick across the face of goal, Grigg takes the mark, he plays on quickly, goes to the outer side, half back flank looking for Link Peters, takes the mark at defensive 50, Robertson stands the mark, he plays on quickly, kick around the corner towards a long lead from Ross Dillon, doesn't sit for him, comes back and the push said the umpire, and Ross Dillon will take it at half back for Bannockburn, thought about Hickledon, Laterally at centre-half back, but he elects just to hold the ball up. Now he'll go long, down the line. Getting back there, Bolton goes up, can't take the mark off hands. His second effort was all right, but he couldn't pick it up. He needs some support. Nico was in there as well, through the middle. Was that a hold? Umpire said play on. It was Bowman. Pick it up. Nobody can pick it up cleanly. Still on centre wing in dispute. Robertson picks it up, then wrapped up by Nicholson. Ball spills free. Umpire said over the shoulder. <laughs> and it will be Robertson's free kick Went on centre way. wing. She pointed the wrong way, but now she knows what she's doing. She gets it. He gets it to Sahanik, who takes the mark <coughs> in the middle for East. Handballs it away to Ricky O'Toole. Goes towards half forward. Good spot. Finds Nico in front of Hammond. Mucha. So Nico now. Hill gives him a lead. So does Kloster. He goes in that direction now. Kloster got four against him. Ross Dillon in front takes the mark. Switches play quickly to Brad Watts at half back. Takes the mark in front of Chamberlain. Pat Dillon recovered from his injury. He goes wide. Him and Hoey one on one. Hoey works his way to the front. He needs some support now. He needs to pick it up. He does one hand and gets the handball away towards Bolton. The big man on centre wing. Good smother though by Matt Watts. Ball in dispute again. Comes back towards the half uh, towards the boundary line and can't keep it in reach. Seven seven forty nine. <coughs> So the ball to be thrown back into play now on the centre wing. Bolton and also Dickers. Bolton gets the ball down to Peters. Can't take clean possession. Petula puts his head over the ball. He's jumped on. And the umpire's going to come in and take possession. The three points in the game. It's an important third quarter for either side. Ball thrown in the air. Picked up there by Ricky O'Toole. Tries to get through the contest. Put it down. Tries to bury his way through. Now there's a high tackle. And the recipient's going to be Ricky O'Toole. So there is free kick to O'Toole on uh, just four to centre wing. Waiting for the ball to come back. Oh. And uh, Rick was going to play that for every bit he got oh. there for a minute. He goes out. What? Oh! It's got to be a free kick, up boy. You can't get barrel oh, like that. Oh, the theatrical punts is over. <laughs> so Simon Primke. Oh, Simon Primke. here we go. Here we go. The free kick being given. <laughs> the only thing I can say is he really did only got him cleanly. If he had got him cleanly, it could have been a different matter. But, uh, the ball now with Hickelin goes across the ground. Travis Gregg has the uh, resulting free kick. That could go against him, you know. I'll tell you what, you'll never get a free kick again of him. And the ball now with Jamie Van Ingen. So he's just outside the defensive 50. Decides to go long into the middle of the ground. Wishart's there. Over the top, Bolton. Picked up there by Dillon. On the left foot. Kicks it around the corner to the half-forward line. Petula can't get a clean possession. Does well through the oh. contest. Picked up there by Watts with pace. Streams forward. Ban goes on the right foot. Not his best side. And the kick wasn't good. And it landed in the hands of Drew Lachlan. So Lachlan now will come out of defence for the East Geelong side. Comes out long. Nice looking kick for Tula. Good front position. Marks spoiled there by Hammond. Feeds the ball back out towards Woods. Needs support. Running player inside is Peters. Can't take clean possession. Kept going after it. Good work there from Bowman. Over the top to Chamberlain. Goes back in. Has the ball stolen out of his hands. Ends up. Will ball will end up, I think, somewhere with Fatula. He's taken off the contest. Player throwing themselves in it. They can tell it's a final. They need to win it. Watts picks the ball up. He's tackled and uh, dropping the ball outside. And Robinson takes the mark. So East Geelong just slowing things down a little bit. 
Some hectic five minutes of play there. The ball now kicks further afield. Goes looking for Kloster. Over the top of his head. Coy's there. Tries to take possession of the ball. Let's it go. Handball from... Uh, Giles over the top to Van Ingen, back to Woods. Woods takes the ball, gets around the first tackle, able to get free of the second. Loads up and goes long, goes looking for Dylan. He's in the box seat. Mark is, or the spoil is good there from Sahanik. Ball gets to the front of the contest. Eddie collects the ball because Vetter overran it, takes time. Oh, now he's gone, puts the ball down. And Mark Vetter, the recipient of the free kick, will have to go back behind the contest. And that's what's going to happen. So Mark Vetter. Did the right thing, attacked the ball, but got a bad bounce. Ended up with Eddie, then worked back, got the free kick. So Mark Vetter now comes round the boundary line, goes looking towards Primke. Is it wide? It is. It's going to stay just in the field of play. Mark has not taken. 7 7 to the East Geelong side, and we have gone some five minutes, third quarter of the Granny Cycling Sports scoreboard. <laughs> Ruck contest, neither Ruck wing get an effective tap. Second effort, Dickers. Nyko with a double fist to Bannockburn with the numbers, though. Wishart on the side of the pack. Right foot kick towards centre half forward. Pack develops. Dylan can't take the mark. Eddie usually pretty good in this situation. Dylan had it and lost it and gave it back towards Eddie. Runs across. Right foot kick towards the square. One on one, Perkins off hands and through for a 49. The Grandy Cyclone Sport third quarter scoreboard. The short little kick in from Lachlan. Nico's got a bit of time in the back pocket. He goes long with the kick towards half back Bowman. Sets himself, can't take the mark off hands of the back. Hickledon had it and lost it. Ricky O'Toole in traffic, gets around a couple. His handball over the top towards Primke, taps it down to Robertson on centre wing. And draws a couple of plays and then hands it over the top to Primke again. Sits for him nicely. Goose steps. Goes from centre wing. Right foot kick long towards Scrubberlack who comes out. Can't take the mark off. Hands at the back of the pack. Now Coy comes at it. Grig under pressure. Ball spills free again. Grig keeps his uh, medal. Now he's thinking about switching the ball to Woods. It'll have to be a good kick bearing down his hill, but it is. Woods takes the mark in the back pocket. He handballs it over the top to Matt Watts who runs on it. Half back now. Goes to the right foot kick. Chips it towards Dickers is all right. Takes the mark. He's got Fatula in the middle. He's got Giles further afield along the line at half forward. He takes the mark. He can run. He's got 35 metres. He takes the bounce. Ricky O'Toole comes at him, but he goes with a right foot kick. Measures it towards Eddie. Comes out. Good kick. Good mark. And he'll shoot for goal. And oh, 50. Thanks for coming. The oh, push from Mark was Vetter. Was it a push? No. And oh, gee whiz. Wonderful. Dale. <laughs> Dale's obviously lined up the afternoon. <laughs> I haven't said anything today. Oh. So Aaron Eddy comes in and yeah. kicks the goal, his fourth of the afternoon. And then they start getting a bit more forward uh, pressure <laughs> in his strife for East Geelong. So Bolton does well in the centre square again, picked up there by O'Hara. He loses possession, kicked out in the corner by Wishart into the half forward line. Dylan out presents well, misses the mark. It's actually probably uh, could have been a rewarded free kick there, but a good little yeah. pass there from Kyle Robinson finds Ricky O'Toole in the middle of the ground. So Ricky O'Toole with the ball. Has time to steady up now. Goes long. Direction of Hill. Woods is on him. Hill's up. Done one hand to the ball. Can't take the mark. Primke also there. Can't take clean possession. Picks the ball up. When he's to release it. Does. Wasn't a clean disposal. Hickelman picked it up. He puts it down. Umpire's going to come in. Uh, nice waiting service though. That's so good. the ball... <laughs> Defensive, uh, sorry, the forward 54 East Geelong. Ball gets through to Alistair Woods. Did a party trick there, came back between his legs. So uh, Chris Reekin is with the ball. His kick is smothered. Good work from Hill. Reek dives in the ball, hands it back to Higgledon. They're under pressure now. Reek needs to get up off the ground, does so. Coy's oh, there, that's in the, in the back. back. The umpire there is called uh, play on. Now he's going to come in and take possession. So the ball in the forward pocket, East Geelong have an opportunity here. They're attacking into the ground. Hill pushes uh, Hickel, or wasn't it, was Dickers underneath the ball. Goes to Woods. Woods feeds the ball back, went looking for, and we'll find Reek. An underground handball goes towards Hickel and kicks out long, looking for Dylan over the top. And the ball is touched play by Robinson and has gone out of bounds to be thrown back in about 20 metres around from the forward 50. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, it's called country hospitality. Oh, That's really your tea for a week there, Kel. So the ball's been thrown back in. Robinson can't get clean possession but he's able to kick the ball off the ground. Primke's going to go there and collect it. Picks the ball up. Needs to get round the first tackle. Got through the first. Handballed out to Robinson. Robinson steps back inside. Goes towards 50. Goes towards the goal square. Oh, oh good, good work, body. Sean O'Leary. Oh, play on, says the umpire. Four. Kicks round the corner. Heads towards the goal square. Coy can't pick the ball up. Scrobblack on the right foot. Kicks around the corner. Has it? Oh, got the carry. There's going to be a free kick. Right, Josh Coy, sorry, uh, Josh Coy was trying to push uh, Chris Reek over the line, but didn't do so, gave away a free kick. So Matt Watt kicks the ball short. Can't do two things at once. Call and eat food. That's no good to me. So Higgledon kicks the ball outside 50. Lowe's looking for Wishart. Hill in front. Wishart up over the back. Good work there from Bowman. Picks it up. Good tackle there from uh, Perkins. 
Umpire thought it was a good release of the ball. I didn't think there was too much in that. So the free kick goes to Perkins. Finds Wood further afield. Further afield, they save Dylan. I don't know why uh, Link Peters came that way because now he's put uh, pressure on the kicker. He goes back and collects it. Handball goes towards Paddy Dylan. Dylan goes out long, goes wide looking for Ross. It's a nice looking kick. Good weight. And the mark has been taken there by Ross Dylan. So a great opportunity for Bannockburn. And Ross Dillon has got one today. Can go back and kick his second. He's been a good mover through centre-half forward. So he comes in now to kick from about 40 metres out. Kicks on the way. It's a nice-looking kick. Aaron Eddy said it's a nice-looking kick. And Ross Dillon has got his second. And the tenth against Bolton. Umpire throws the ball in the air. Dickers gets it down. Bowman at the back of the pack, roved it, handballed it away to Chamberlain, fresh air shot, don't don't nod your head like that, Kel, Hammond gets it away, throw, said the umpire, free kick to East Geelong, Chamberlain the recipient, back into the centre square, Sean O'Leary by himself, goes across centre wing, takes the mark, Kloster gives him a lead, Primke does as well, he goes towards the hot spot, coming out, Kloster, Ricky O'Toole in front, takes the mark, scrobble out, one out, in the goal square, he gives him a lead, he goes in that direction, he just pops it up, Alistair Woods gets in the way, does nicely, on a string, goes to the right foot, kick towards the freak, Dwayne Broom over his head, now it's he against Bolton, he'll be quicker than Bolton if he can get around him, he loses the football though in the tackle, he needs to follow it up, coming the other way, Nyko, over the top of it, Hammond, he picks it up, handballs it back towards Nicholson off a standing start, kicks it over the top towards Broom again, and he can run away on centre wing, he's got some space, he chips the ball over the top, Jennings comes back, Sheedy stands his ground, takes the mark, wheels and goes, great smother by Jennings though, good defensive play, but the numbers with it, Bannockburn, Jennings worked well, one out, did nicely, gave it to O'Hara, handball back in board to Jennings, needs to finish it off, he handballs it back to O'Leary, still in the middle of the ground, he runs now, right foot kick, long towards half forward to nobody in particular, getting back there, Hickledon, not going to sit for him, coming at it, O'Toole can handball it away, but he left it behind, Watts, he got, tried to give it to his brother Brad, he couldn't pick it up either, on hands and knees, Ricky O'Toole wrapped up by Reek. The umpire will come in and ball it up. In fact, it was Josh Coy at the bottom of the pack. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. It's centre half forward. East Geelong into attack. They trail 10 5. Bannockburn. East Geelong 7 7. The ball up. Hill, Dickers, tapped away by Peters. Jennings comes in, leaves it behind Broom. Now off the ground, Chamberlain. O'Hara coming off the wing, Chamberlain. Through the middle, Sheedy. Works hard. Handball to nobody in particular. Gets a free kick, though, over the shoulder. And Sheedy will take the free kick. Right in the middle of St Albans Reserve. O'Hara can't believe it. So, <laughs> Sheedy now. Back into the centre square. Goes long towards half forward. Bolton goes up. Can't take the mark. Off the back of the pack, Woods. In fact, it's Watts. Brad. Wrapped up by Bowman. Ball spills free to Woods now. Woods on half forward. Left foot kick towards the leader. Eddie Vetter against him. Great mark. And Aaron Eddy's taken in the left forward pocket. He's kicked four goals two this afternoon. This for goal number five. Last week. And he kicked five last week. Mm. Anyway, we'll get that rectified. We'll get that checked. <clears throat> Eddy comes in, left forward pocket. 30 metres out. Close to the boundary. He comes in, deliberate, right foot kick. Oh, he's pretty happy. He did the kitcho. Through for goal number five. For him. Round. This time it's Jacob Foot going to Ruckward up against Scrobblex. Moved himself in there. Ha Chamberlain comes off the wing, takes possession, puts the ball down, picked up there by Hoey, kicks round the corner, goes into the half forward line. Higgledon's there, good strong mark, and I think he's going to be paid. Primke, you've got no chance of getting that one, son. <laughs> Not with the umpire that you've got standing beside you. So Sam Higgledon has the uh, resulting free kick, has Nicholson wide, that's where he goes, long kick, going to favour Bolton because he's going to come up over the top, can't take the mark at the ground level, support arrives with Ross Dillon getting there, O'Hara hits the ground, goes back to him Watts, Watts comes in on the right side, has time to steady with pace, runs away from the contest, has one bounce, could take two but decides to kick in long, goes looking for Hammond, Hammond's in front, he can't take it, Chamberlain's there, Nyko does well, needs to get foot on the ball, Kigley is the distance, gets outside, picked up there by Peters, running player is Reek, needs to use the as further as the field, and he has Watts. So Watts on his natural side has Broom running to the pocket. It's a nice looking kick and a good delivery, and it's now Dwayne Broom. He's in trouble. Handballs over the top to Fatula. He's in oh. trouble. Good strong tackle there from uh, Drew Lachlan, I reckon. No, it wasn't. It was Kyle Robinson, and Kyle Robinson lays a tackle on Fatula in the forward pocket and will turn. Defence into attack, hopefully, for the East Geelong side. So from the defensive end, kicks in, goes long. Target's going to be Primke. Ball's up. Mark's not taken. The back of the contest goes to Dillon. Hands over the top to, towards Brad Watts. Probably should have been hands over the top again, I would think. And unfortunately, a kick is smothered forward line. Probably favouring Bannockburn's end at this stage. <coughs> so the ball back into play. 
foot over the top. Does well, Jennings. Howie's also got hands of the ball. And it's not going to come out. Umpire's going to come in and time. Third quarter, Bannockburn, 11-5. East Geelong, 7-7. Seven, seven. Ball up, Bolton got it down. Howie roved it through centre wing. Right foot kick. Ends up in the arms of Primke, takes the mark at half forward, plays on quickly, goes towards the lead of Kloster at full forward, over his head, they need somebody small down there, Bannockburner got the numbers, Ricky O'Toole pushed Matt Watts close to the boundary line, is it out? Yes it is, it's by 22 points. Ruck contest will be Hill and Grigg, thrown in, short throw in, Hill in front, Grigg tapped it away, Kloster roved the pack close to the boundary line, was it out? So boundary throw in, right forward pocket. Hill gets it away. Ricky O'Toole can't take it with him. Pack develops around Kloster. Matt Watts just falls over the top. Ball spills free again. Bannock burn defence under pressure. Still in the forward pocket. Through the middle, Primke. Not going anywhere. The umpire was him. For the ruck contest. Scrobelak, left hand. Towards Ryan Coy. Gets a kick out of the pack and kicks the goal. So what the... Eagles need from their captain and the Whitley medalist. His feet burn up against Scroblack. He's doing some work in there. Tap over the top. Went towards Broom. Can't pick it up. Foot's there. Got head over the ball. Uh, the work rate in there has been pretty good from both. So now Scroblack. It's Fatula over the top. Third man up. Punches the ball forward. Uh, and Pat Howey's going to lead in the race for the ball. Shooty arrives. Nice clean work. Picks the ball up. Actually, it was Broom. Oh, oh he got a high one there. And Dwayne Broom's going to win that free kick. So just inside the centre square. Again, Bowling Burn looking to attack again. Goes in, goes looking for Dylan up over the top. Boyle was made. He actually came down with the ball. Didn't have the first one, unfortunately. Goes back, picked up there by Jennings. Handball over the top. Went looking for Nyko. Hammond uses his body. Picked up there by uh, Chamberlain. Gives the old uh, don't argue. Puts the hand out. Picked up there by Dylan. He's tackled numbers around the ball. And the umpire comes in and takes possession again. So on the half forward line, foot pushes forward. Ruck work done there by Sahanik. Good work. Ticks the ball. Went to Robinson. Ends up heading towards Jennings. Hammond takes him off the ball. On his hands and knees. Handball's back to Sheedy. Probably a bit too much weight on that handball. Went to Robinson. Handball back into Chamberlain. He ducks. He weaves. He gets caught. And Robbie Chamberlain has got a free kick against him, unfortunately. First one was probably a little bit high. And Sheedy with the resulting free kicks. Kicks the ball short. Dylan leads up. Oh, went through his hands. Should have taken that one. Sahanik picks the ball up. He gets a high tackle. Gets through the first tackle. Handball's up to O'Toole. He's tackled. Needs to uh, fend off. Does so. Drops the ball in doing so. Brooms over the ball. Sahanik's back in there working hard for the East Geelong side. Umpire comes in. And on the boundary line, 22 minutes. Sorry, folks, if you're out there listening, the Granny Cycle scoreboard sees. Bannockburn 11-5, East Geelong 8 goal 7. From the ruck contest, Scrobelak got it down, but the kick off the ground by Perkins. Went back in forward for Bannockburn. Sahanik wrapped up and held on to, said the umpire, did he? Just having... <laughs> He's going to be kicking from 45 Dale. metres out, slide angle. He comes in, Ross Dillon, left foot kick, and he has got the distance and the goal. So his third of the afternoon, and the 12th for Bannockburn. They go to 12-5-77. Round, umpire. Oh, Whoa. now she's been nearly knocked over by the big fella again. <laughs> Free kick's going to go to Bannockburn again. And the resulting free kick goes to Dickers. So Charlie Dickers with the ball in the middle of the ground. Decides to go long in then towards the half forward line. Brooms there in front. Pat Hoey taps the ball down. Picked up by Robinson. Good clean hands out. Forward to Chamberlain. Chamberlain kicks further afield. We're looking for Primke. Heading towards the boundary line. Hickledon cages him in. And the umpire says just favouring the end to which... East Geelong are kicking, Scroblake stopped back, so Dickens has gone back to him, so the ruck work's going to be done by Chamberlain and Fatula, comes down to Watts, handballs to Peters, runs around, the handball went underground, picked up there by P uh, Fatula again, went hard on the handball there to shoot him, went back to his now, ends up with Robertson to hit to uh, Chamberlain, who kicks round the corner, Primke coming across, takes a mark, nice mark, but decided to go, went towards Jennings, Jennings first dummy, then kicks the ball out wide, nice looking kick, actually, don't know whether he meant it to go there in the second time, but picked up there by Kloster, able to get boots to ball, Kicks the ball about 10 yards round further down the ground. Handball comes over the top. Ends up with Perkins. Perkins goes out to Watts. And that's Matt Watts. Decides to go long. That's a better looking kick. Goes towards Dickers. Good leap. Good mark. So Charlie Dickers with the ball. Decides to look across the ground. Has two players there. Needs to be a good kick. Fatula has it. Oh, Chamberlain doesn't know which way to go. 
Coming in behind is Jennings. Now he needs to get back. Oh, Ryan Coy comes in behind. Releases the ball. Peter saw what was happening. He goes back and collects it. Kicks around the corner. Sheedy's got to stand under it. Can he mark it? Good spoil from behind by Bowman. Going towards Scrobble like the big fella. Comes through the contest. Picks it up. Good knock forward. Picked up there or tries to be picked up there by Dean Perkins. With him is Lachlan. Handball back to Bowman. Bowman getting through the contest. Has runners outside. Oh. And it's going to be Primke. But he's in plenty of space and by himself. Needs to get down and collect the ball. Gets around Reek too easily. Kicks in to Lords, the player in uh, so Leary and the good body work from the fella again. He exactly knows where the ball's going. He protects the space. So O'Leary comes in, lines up, and he will kick the goal. Sean O'Leary, never in doubt there. Their ninth goal for East Geelong. Similar people on the same wavelength. Back to the middle. Scrobalak goes up. Dickers gets it down at the front of the pack. Robertson, probably been East Geelong's best player this afternoon, Robertson. He's been very concerned. Scrobalak and Dickers come from the same side. Scrobalak gets his left hand to it. Ball spills to Robertson again. Under pressure from Peters. Played for a free kick. Didn't get one. Peters might end up with a footy. He does. And gets a clearing kick to centre half for Dylan from behind. Does well. Got a hand to it. Saharnik left it for brother Pat. He can't pick it up. Bowman gets across there as well for East Geelong. Close to the boundary line. Umpire, was that a push? Yes, it was. Free kick. East Geelong. Bow Pat. Bowman to take it. But you won't have to take it because it's three-quarter time. And it's Bannockburn 12-5-77. And they lead East Geelong 9-7-61. Uh, two goals in that quarter to East Geelong.